Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing great. Last week I posted a comparison blind test video in which I compared my orange rocker verb tube amp head to the Line 6 Helix's Mandarin rocker digital model of the rocker verb. If you haven't seen that video yet, do check it out first because you don't want to miss out on all the fun. I'll put a link up here and down here as well. Anyway, so in today's video we're going to find out which one was the real amplifier and which one was the virtual model. And we're also going to check out the settings that I used, etc. First let me say that this time around, again, the results were very interesting to me. When I was making the comparison, I already felt like the real amplifier and the virtual model were sounding very close, but your reactions really confirmed this for me. A bunch of you didn't even bother to guess because you felt that they were sounding so close that it's basically impossible to hear which one was the real amp and which one was the virtual model. And I definitely think that most of you will agree with me that the results were very close this time. So one thing is for certain, Line 6 is doing a great job at modeling those analog amplifiers into the digital world. Okay, so here we go. Let's find out what the results are. And do note that I only counted the comments under the YouTube video itself, so not comments on Facebook and other social media sites and forums and such. As I'm making this video, which is on Monday afternoon local time, 80 of you thought that A was the real amplifier. And 81 guys and girls, well let's face it, probably 81 guys, thought that B was the real amplifier. And whoa, that's close, very, very close right in the middle in fact. And again, since these are all guesses, it's safe to say that Line 6 is doing a great job. The virtual model sounds very close to the real deal. And now I'm gonna tell you which one was the real amplifier and which one was the virtual model. I'm gonna tell you right now. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. You guys ready? A was the orange rocker verb and B was the virtual model on the Line 6 Helix, so the Mandarin rocker model. Yes, that's right, A was the tube amp and B was the virtual model. So kudos to Line 6 for creating such awesome digital models for us to play with. And also, of course, thanks to you guys for chiming in. This was a lot of fun indeed. And now let's take a quick look at the settings and the signal chain for these sounds. Let's start off with the real amplifier. The Orange Rocker Verb 50 Mark III was fed into my Fractal Audio LB2 reactive load box and that was fed in an Ohnhammer impulse response from the Heavy Hitters Collection Volume 1 from the 412 ORN cabinet with the V30 speaker option to be exact, the OH1-05 mic mix. And that cab is based on an actual orange 4x12 cabinet, so it makes a lot of sense to use that one, and I think it sounds great with the orange head. And obviously that same impulse response was also used for the Helix model. No effects or pedals were used, also, no post-processing at all, so a very pure and straightforward sound, just how I like it. As I showed in the first video, the settings on the amplifier are very basic, but it's a very simple and elegant amplifier after all, just as all the other orange amplifiers. And that's one thing that I love about the orange amps. The attenuator wasn't used, master was set to about 10 o'clock, the EQ controls were all set to around noon, and the gain control was set to around 1 o'clock. Sounds good to me. Now let's take a listen to the full demo track with the Orange Rockerverb 50 Mark III, just so you can hear the amp in all its glory. Great, that sounded awesome. Now let's take a look at the settings that I used in Helix Native to replicate the tones of the actual amplifier. And again, the settings that I used are very straightforward and simple. It's just an amplifier and an IR block, nothing else. Gain was set to 6.4, bass to 5.6, mids to 6.3, 
treble to 6.4, master to 5.5 and sag to 3.5. I spent some time trying to make them sound as close as possible, but I bet that if you would spend even more time tweaking these parameters that you can make them sound even closer. But for me, obviously this was close enough. And one thing that we do have to keep in mind when we're listening to the differences between these two sounds is that the Mandarin rocker model on the Helix was actually based on the 100 watt version of the orange rocker verb. And I have the 50 watt version over here. So there are bound to be some sonic differences between the two just because of that fact alone. Now let's take a listen to the full demo track again, but this time with Helix native, just so you can hear the Mandarin rocker model in all its glory. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for participating in this test. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Please drop a comment down below as I'd love to know your thoughts. And also feel free to drop a like and a subscribe along with the bell to stay up to date on all my activities. You can also follow Sonic Droid Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thanks again and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!